Hello everyone, I am Dr. Patanjali CP, working as a specialist endocrinologist in Astra Speciality Clinic uh, Discovery Gardens. So as the month of Ramadan is uh, approaching, I would like to give a few tips to all people with diabetes so that you can undertake the fasting in a safe way. So it's very important that you meet your physician or endocrinologist uh, before the starting of the fasting month so that we can assess your diabetes control and your medication regimen and make the appropriate changes. So with regards to diet, it is important that you divide your meals or calories equally between the suhoor and the iftar meals. It is important to maintain hydration between the two meals by taking uh, water frequently and it is very important to avoid uh, sugar heavy desserts and um, high calorie foods. So you should always prefer low calorie foods like fruits and nuts and uh, dry fruits. With regards to exercise, you can maintain normal levels of physical activity during the month of Ramadan, but we don't recommend to start any new exercise regimen during this month, especially because of the risks of uh, dehydration. So some important risks that you should be aware of during the fasting is occurrence of hypoglycemia or a low blood sugar. So if your blood uh, sugar goes below 70 milligrams per dl or you have any symptoms of hypoglycemia, then you will need to break the fast immediately. Also if you have any symptoms of vomiting or dehydration, then again you will need to uh, break your fasting immediately. So most people with diabetes can undertake the fasting in a safe way, but we may recommend certain categories of people to avoid fasting, especially people with type 1 diabetes or people who have diabetes during pregnancy or people with diabetes having multiple complications such as heart disease or kidney disease, people with diabetes undergoing dialysis. So in these categories of people, we may not, uh, we may recommend you to avoid fasting during this month. So in short, uh, I want to wish you all a very happy month of Ramadan. And again, it is very important that you uh, contact and stay in touch with your physician or endocrinologist so that you can undertake the fasting in a safe manner. Mm -hmm.